this is a rather obscure North Country pattern called the Royal Charlie. And the dressing I'm going to showcase today is Nat Hunt's variation of this fly. Even though it's found in a few North Country manuscripts where it's listed as a stonefly imitation, and where they often state that the fly is for when the rivers are brown or running off after a spate, it is somewhat ignored by the majority of modern North Country anglers. The hook I'm going to use is a Partridge Ideal Standard Dry and a size 14. This hook has the right combination of strength and lightness of wire. North Country spiders were invented to be fished in the surface film and the final inches of the water column. So dressing patterns like the Royal Charlie on a heavy weight hook shows in some respects a real misunderstanding of the purpose of North Country wet flies. So if you're going to dress this pattern, stick to a lightweight hook. Now the silk I'm going to use is an old spool of Purcell's Crimson. And we come in with our silk and we, we start the silk a good three or four wraps of silk back from the eye of the hook, which then gives us a space for our final peacock curl. Trap the silk in with three or four tight turns and then just trim off that waist end there. Now for the rib of the fly, we're going to use some fine gold wire and simply trap that down and mount it in with nice touching turns of silk going back down the hook shank. If you trap the wire in quite early on within the dressing, you alleviate any bumps within the final dressing of the fly. Bring your silk down the hook shank to a point somewhere between point of hook and end of barb. That seems good to me. And now again, tight touching turns, bring your silk back up the shank of the hook. Again, we want to leave enough distance between our finished silk and the eye of the hook so we have enough room, enough room to tie down our wire rib, get the hackle in and of course finish the fly with a peacock curl head. Now we find gold wire create a nice segmented ribbon to the fly. Once you're happy with the ribbon, come with two or three tight turns of silk and catch that wire in. Now simply fret off the end of the wire. And we're ready to mount our hackle. The hackle I'm going to use is the brown hackle taken from a partridge back. And here we simply expose the tip of the hackle by brushing those hackle fibres back towards the stalk. Come in with your scissors and trim that tip off. Now we silk bind it down with three nice turns of silk. Take the hackle and your hackle pliers.
just brush back those hackle fibers and start to wrap the hackle. I like to dress this fly quite full, so I'm going to give it a good three turns of hackle. Then come in with your silk and trap that hackle stock down with three firm wraps of silk. Now we come to mounting our peacock hurl simply snip off the end so you're now dealing with the stronger part of the hurl stalk and again trap it in with two or three firm wraps of silk and now a good cheat to get a nice neat hurl head to the fly is use something like this which is black Cintron thread which is incredibly thin what we do here is come in and bind down our tying silk as well as our peacock hurl with three or four nice turns of this Cintron thread once we're happy that we've got everything nice and secure, come in with a scissors and being careful not to cut the cintron, we take away our fly tying thread and any excess peacock curl. Now with your peacock curl, we can start to form the head of the fly. Brush any loose fibres, hackle fibres out of the way and start to build up that hurl head. Once you're happy with the size and density of the hurl head, come with your Cintron thread and start to trap that peacock hurl down. I like to take two turns of thread right in front of that hurl which then cleans up the eye of the hook. Come with your scissors, snip off any excess hurl and you're ready now just to create a nice tight whip finish. Because the Cintron is so fine a thread we can take four or five nice, four or five nice turns of whip finish. When you're happy, pull it tight and cut off the axis. And there we have Nat Hunt's incarnation of the Royal Charlie.